In this tutorial, we'll show you how to maintenance your G4 high pressure regulator. First, we'll start off by removing the top portion of the regulator from the bottom housing. Remove the shim from the piston and begin extracting the regulator piston assembly. Remove the spring from the piston and set them aside. Use a clean cotton swab to clean the top housing thoroughly from excess lubrication and particles that might have built up in the high pressure regulator. Use a clean towel to wipe down the protective shim guard. Continue to clean the regulator piston. Be sure to remove all dirt and debris from these components as well as old lubrication. Be sure to clean the regulator spring as well and wipe away any old lubrication and dirt. Now, Apply a dab of lubrication on a cotton swab and begin lubricating the HPR components starting with the regulator's piston. Be sure to apply a thin coating on the piston seal o-ring. Begin applying a thin layer of lubrication at the base of the piston all the way to the top. Begin lubricating the housing by starting with the top portion seal o-ring. This will help protect the seal and maintain a fully operational HPR. Be sure to apply a thin layer of Formula 40 on these o-ring seals. Let's begin to disassemble the bottom portion of the regulator. Take the 732nd Allen key to remove the piston valve cover from the bottom housing of the regulator. Take the 1 8 Allen key and begin to unscrew the velocity adjustment screw. Turn it counterclockwise to remove this screw. Use needle nose pliers to remove the valve adjustment from the inside housing. Remove the adjustment screw to release the ball bearing which is located underneath the velocity adjustment valve. Use a clean cotton swab to clean the bottom housing of your HPR. Be sure to clean the inside threading. Use a clean towel to thoroughly clean the piston valve cover and its threading. Clean the valve adjustment screw and be sure to wipe away any excess lubrication that may be left on the o-ring seal. Clean the bearing ensuring that it is free from dirt and debris. Apply a small amount of Formula 40 on the o-ring seal of the valve cover. Apply a thin coating of lubrication on the valve adjustment and the o-ring seal. Now we begin to assemble the high pressure regulator. Place the ball bearing back into its initial position and place a 1 8 allen key to hold the ball bearing in place. Use the needle nose pliers to set the valve back into its original position so that the valve adjustment and the ball bearing are seated correctly in the housing. When assembling the valve cover, you will need to apply a small amount of temporary thread lock to hold the valve cover in place. Tighten down the valve cover to the bottom housing by using the 732nd Allen key to tighten down the assembly. Assemble the spring and the piston together and also the shim guard on the top. Place the spring assembly into the top housing of the regulator. Begin assembling both the bottom and top housing pieces together to complete the high pressure regulator. The G4's regulator maintenance is now completed and is good to go.